Hi, I'm Shane. I'm Kelsey. And, and that's, that's Dixie. Dixie. And, and we're, we're Love Hub for Life. Life. We've been on the road for 122 weeks in this wibbly wobbly house in the back of our truck. <laughs> that's right, guys. And this week we are working on another home on wheels. This ambulance conversion is one of a kind. I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you do, be sure and hit that thumbs up button and comment below because that's the only way that we know who to be grateful for. It is morning at 846 on the road and we are in New River, Arizona. Hanging out on this absolutely beautiful little spot of state land south of the of the Lake Pleasant while Shane is hard at work converting this little ambulance into a home on wheels. If you guys remember back in Texas, Shane put these floors in and built that bed that you see there and did a whole lot of the early work for the wiring that he is accomplishing now. Yeah, it was the research phase. So, if you guys have been following us along, then you know exactly where we are and this will be redundant. But anyone new, this is a Red Cross rescue vehicle. And when they sell it off, they have a bunch of hardware and electronics inside and the resolution is they just cut everything. They take bolt cutters and cut everything off up here. So what we've been doing is tying in new wiring into the whole system. And you can see my, my, uh, my wire looms here. There's gonna be a fuse breaker here. And what we're doing is we're designing a system that you could add solar to later but it will have the ability to plug into a 30 amp connection and charge, as well as a DC to DC inverter running off of a 200 amp hour battery. So potentially there's some boondocking there. Um, in this case, maybe solar will be added later, maybe it won't, but we'll be finished up with this rather soon. Welcome but the back. idea is that at least short term, this rig will be capable of boondocking oh, totally. without any solar power. Yeah, no, it is possible to boondock without solar. You have to set everything up properly, but totally an option. And, you know, in a, a rare case, you could plug in to a 30 amp and charge your batteries as well as do everything you need to do. So run that microwave, things like that, and then hit the road again. <laughs> as usual, Dixie is helping dad. week she is not the only small puppy in town our buddy <laughs> <laughs> very, very We've got a whole lot of fun coming up this week. You guys stay tuned. I've gotten some work done, but mostly just been doing a whole lot of that. The sun starting to come down behind those mountains which means Shane is probably losing his ability to see in So this is the space I have to work with back here. This is behind that wooden box where all the panels are mounted. And originally this is where all their panels were. So I'm just following suit. But as you can see, there's a lot back here. And that's one junction box. And there's actually two more over there that I've tied everything into. It's a tight squeeze in here. A little bit, but you're doing some awesome work. Then over here in this box 
is all of the components that he's been working for days to put in. It's crazy how neat and organized his work for other people is. If only the inside of the love hut looked like that. <laughs> morning over here. <laughs> I'm working hard today, huh? I have been working hard. I swapped out the 50 amp plug for the 30 amp plug, which is the exact same plug, but this one was newer and had a newer seal and I ran a uh, die core around it as well. I've also been still steadily moving forward to completion on the inside. We're going to be rolling out. We had a couple of things we had to order from Amazon that I didn't get in my initial order but I almost ordered the whole thing up front and I was really pumped about that. So we're gonna go pick up a couple things and we'll be back and get this puppy all finished up. Then we gotta find us a 30 amp pedestal somewhere to plug it in and test it out. Well, since you're already on break, how about you extend it into a lunch break? I've got lunch inside. Ooh, food. they go. Me and Dixie are gonna stay here and keep an eye on camp. <coughs> Dixie, they're back! Apparently they could hear me drumming from a long ways away. When he came back with supplies. And a gift from Marie. I haven't figured out what to name this little guy yet, but I think he's going to be very happy in the love hut. He'll look better in a little while. Hey, you showed up in time. Do you see my ratchet? <laughs> I can't find <laughs> No. Oh, it's right here. Actually. I found it. <laughs> I am attaching the DC to DC inverter or charger. Yeah, we'll go with charger. Inverter is not the right word. DC to DC charger to the system. And then we have our 30 amp connection I have to finish wiring up. And I think that's it. Short of putting in a couple of extra lights. Awesome. So we're looking at getting out of here today, right? I think so. Sweet. I'm working on getting the love hut all ready to go. Dixie, you ready to go? Almost. Well, uh, hello. Hey. How you doing back there? Good. Splice in my control wire. I'm happy you showed up. Oh yeah? Yeah, I need a hand. Are you stuck back here? No, I need a tool. What do you got going on back here? Uh, this little wire here, I am running down and underneath the steering column so I can connect to the, um, the ignition. This uh, DC to DC charger has an ignition wire. The Victron one versus the Renogy one, that, that is the major difference. The Victron one does it all, all the computing inside so you don't have to have a control wire, but the, the Renogy model, gotta have a control running to an accessory wire, which is kind of a pain sometimes. In this particular case, it was it went as well as it could. <laughs> <laughs> that said, it does not look like we're gonna be getting out of here today. I'm trying real hard. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see how it goes. <laughs> Ready to go. How about you, Lola? Guys, I hear a fan running. Do we have power? Some, yeah. Awesome. Almost time to get out of here then? Kinda. <laughs> Almost, yeah. We're doing good. The love hut's ready to go. That's good. Thank 
hoping to tell us goodbye. They've been our neighbors for almost a week now. <laughs> Good to be on the road. We've got Marie behind us and it is dark where we really don't like driving in the dark. So we're leaving our camping spot in the dark. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> yes. um, but the campground that we are going to is only six miles away and that means it's shower time. But mostly we're going there because they have a 30 amp connection and I need to test out this inverter converter and the only way to do that is to plug it into a 30 amp connection. So. Let's go to a campground. Bonus, we're teaching Marie how to off-road in the dark. I'm sure she's loving us for this right now. Oh yeah, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> well guys, we did not make it to the campground last night, or we did, but by the time we got there, the gate was already closed. Thankfully, Marie did manage to get in and get her spot. So we are headed that way to test out this electrical system. Yeah, we're going to be connecting it to a 30 amp connection so that we can verify that the, sorry, I'm driving. <laughs> so that we can verify that the inverter converter works. I know it came on yesterday when I tested it out real quick, but we didn't have a way to energize the battery at the moment so I quickly turned it off and today we'll be finishing that up and adding some 12 volt lights maybe today we might have to meet up outside of the park because this state park that she's in is very busy so we weren't able to get in and they're so booked out she's got to leave so if you're trying to use a state park make sure you apparently have to put in a reservation ahead of time so y'all do that very far ahead of time <laughs> very far well guys, we have arrived. This is what people gladly pay $35 a night for when there's free camping right down the road. We gotta be grateful for them, I guess. What I'm grateful for though is that shower house that I'm about to go take advantage of while Shane and Marie do whatever needs to be done on the ambulance. And we are on the road again. And all nice and clean this time. Yeah. State park showers. They're better than no shower, I suppose. We got Marie all set up for now. And we'll be meeting up with her again next week. But for now, her 12-volt system is completely working. And her 12-volt system is completely working. And her ability to shore power in through her converter to charge her battery is also the thing we're lacking is the 120 volt system. We had a bit of an issue with one of the plugs and potentially there's a fallen wire back in the wall that we didn't see several months ago when we investigated this bus. So I've got to spend a little more time than I can invest in this park on working on that bus. So we're gonna meet back up on Monday and get her all zapped up and then she'll be good to go. In the Until meantime, then, it's a really pretty drive y'all. Lake Pleasant. It's just north of Phoenix, but there's more Sequoia cactuses here than we've seen anywhere else. Certainly more than down near Tucson. Like this place is just magical. Well guys, it looks like this is going to be home for a few days absolutely beautiful spot. We're meeting some friends here tonight, but I think we'll have to save this one and remember it for those nights alone. Yeah, this is a, this is a cool one. So that mountain range over there that you can see is actually Saddle Mountain, which we, we call Tonopah, and we spend a lot of time there. So this would be all the way across the valley from it. And That's where all our fire agates come from, y'all. Yep, and there's even some of it laying around here too, small pieces of it. We're gonna play in that wash a little bit tonight and see what we find.
time lapse in this whole thing and it broke. So we duct taped a selfie stick to it and recorded the rest of it with that. How fun is this? Oh, Dixie's gonna help me. Check it out. We've got a whole film crew. <laughs> Woo! Hold on, let me get. Let me get this. What are you doing, Gelsey? Look at this. This is quite the setup, huh? I'm getting very tangled up in my mic right now. <laughs> yeah, we don't use mic. Guys, I think that sunset is going to be a banger. All of this cloud coverage normally makes for some really, really good ones. We've been spending our day hanging out with Matt and Mark. They are here for Tiny House Giant Journey. They're doing a really cool video of our house. We've been watching these guys make their art all day and can't wait to see how it turns out. So you guys be on the lookout for that video. It should be soon. For now, we're going to enjoy this gorgeous sunset and get a fire started. You coming to spy on me? I am. What are you cooking me in there? French fries and shrimp. French yeah. fries and shrimp. Yeah, yeah, fresh from the oceans of Arizona. <laughs> Arizona shrimpies. Not tacos. Not tacos. <laughs> that was last night. As we were driving down this road the other day, I noticed this area and some rock formations around. I don't really know what's here, but I feel like something's here. Let's go find out. Yeah, I think we read something about some fluorite. That would be really cool. We haven't found any of that yet. It appears that other people have definitely had the idea of rock counting in this area. It's an old abandoned mine. We're not seeing any claim markers, so we're going to walk around and see what we can find in their tailings. You can find, find some pretty rocks out there in those washes. We're certainly going to try, but either way, we have an absolutely beautiful place to call home for the night. Those cacti, they're just everywhere. Hey, look, a cave. I hope there's gold in there. <laughs> <laughs> this thing's awesome. There's little caves like this all around these hills. 
this is gonna be the only one you can actually reach. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Some of them are really high up there. You okay? Yeah. Just putting on a little show, you know. We really enjoyed uh, getting out and getting a little bit of alone time. Hiking through those washes was a lot of fun. Uh, we did not have a whole lot of success on the rock hounding front. Definitely a lot of interesting rocks to be found out there. Just none that would be worth us adding weight to the truck. <laughs> yeah, there was no collectible items. Yeah. But there's always some somewhere. Maybe next trip. Yep. For sure. Right now we are on our way to Lake Havasu where we've got some friends waiting on us. Well guys, it was a whole lot of driving today, but it was all worth it because uh, we are ending our week with this beautiful sunset amongst friends. We've met up with our buddies Joe and Van and have a whole lot of fun planned for this weekend. Yeah, <laughs> we'll, we'll take pictures with it. Yeah. <laughs> it's fun, right? No, it's not. I... Yeah, guys, we had a little bit of fun last night, and we have a whole lot more fun planned this week. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. We want to take the time to say thank you to each and every one of you who are following us along. If this is your first video to ever catch of ours, hit that subscribe button and join our journey. And if you've been with us for a long time, then you know that we are grateful for you. If you're looking for a different and more in-depth view of our life, check out our other social media like Facebook and Instagram under Love Hub for Life. If you're trying to get a hold of us through email, you can do that at lovehutforlife at gmail.com. We'll see y'all next time. Peace out, guys. Have a good one. Bye, y'all.